welcome to the success story series we have yet another student of ours who got placed in the field of data analytics yeah hi uh, biswajit thank you so much yeah. for providing your time the yeah. first question that me and everyone else obviously would be interested to know is what is your educational background and where did you graduate from from which location i mean and then how was your journey to get into the field of data yeah can you throw some light please actually if i talk about my education background then i can say that uh, my education background was that totally non technical that means uh, i have done my bachelor in science and uh, at that time that physics was my honors paper then after uh, I actually basically coming from Bharampur, Odisha. It is a silk city of our uh, state. Yeah, and uh, then after I joined as Union Bank of India as a banker. Then after I settled as a civil service aspirant. And at that time that I didn't move ahead in that uh, line, so I had to switch that uh, this data focused career as a manager in business intelligence department. At the Anupuna Finance Limited. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. So you became business intelligence manager. Yeah. Uh, that that's a yeah. very good thing. You no. Know? I mean, graduating in non-IT or or um, you know graduating in uh, BSc with yes. physics as your, your major subject, if you. I mean, the, and, and I'm sure that is what you wanted to communicate. Yeah. Despite that, you got into this field of business intelligence, right? Which is nothing but data analytics, and I'm extremely happy for you. Yeah? Okay. And uh, you got a job in your own place, your own city, okay, your own uh, location, and I'm sure you are extremely happy about that. So, how did the internship help you? Right, we do a lot of projects. Uh, there are a lot of real world projects that we work on. Right, how did that project experience help you in getting this job? Can you throw some more light on that, please? Of course. So actually, the internship is I can say that total. Um, uh, I think it is very important for a uh, any data scientist professionals or a data analyst who are coming that entry level. So it. Uh, really gives a very uh, real world experience in terms of the team culture how to act in a team and the team management time management stress management and the main part is that it talks about that to implement our knowledge in the real time basis and uh, i can say that it really uh, makes us educate to the in decision making part that how to make a very decision in terms of that we can say that we have different approaches like in data processing like typecasting how to uh, remove that duplicate but in financial data what i am uh, doing as of now that it is very difficult that to remove any uh, outliers we have to do the outliers very efficiently we can't remove any a single record in frame in this industry fintech industry especially so it's a really very uh, imaging and also also very i am very interesting also that to implement our various knowledge in very uh, wise way and uh, i also worked with uh, in you know data tech in two projects it really helped me that to make my foundation very strong and the mentors were also very uh, what highly intelligent people and they also guided us very thoroughly yeah actually it's a really very uh, good experience to what i Got from your in the in the data tech uh, um, part, yeah. Yeah, actually, you are not audible. Uh, sorry. Yeah, so sorry. So for the outside world and the audience, uh, let me tell you that we do real world projects for different customers. We have Volvo trucks as a customer. We have Biological E Limited. We have Bharat Bank, so on and so forth. There are a lot of uh, nice customers that we have, right? With whom we partnered for staffing our trained resources, uh, you know, sh sharing their profiles with these companies, or to do AI services 
and uh, to do data analytics projects, right? There are multiple partnerships that we have with different companies. And also, daily at 5.30 a.m., students start uh, you know, attending the real-world project meetings. They will understand what is the essence of time management, how do you work in the team, like what Viswajit was saying, right? It will improve your communication skills. What kind of documents do I need to create? In a structured manner, how do you approach a project? That is exactly what you learn. And that I believe majority of the students were saying that that's the most important bit of it. Yeah, so nice to know. And uh, Biswajit, one last question. To so those students who just completed their training or they're currently undergoing training, okay, what would your suggestion be for them? I'm sure you want to give them a lot of suggestions, but if you were to give them one or two most important suggestions to actually get into this field of data analytics or data science, what would that be? Yeah, actually the one uh, suggestion what I can give that uh, just to stick with your skill and just implement them in, in your newly work, online works, yeah, online new projects. So it's a really very beneficial that to when we work upon the same thing with different uh, environments. So it's really very intuitive also. And it also gives a very uh, day by day basis. It will give so much new information to us also. And the second part is that to make our surrounding very positive and perseverance. That is also a main factor, which is uh, what I want to address the people. Absolutely, Biswajit. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I also want to tell this part that perseverance is very important. Yes. There are a few people who are extremely intelligent, right? Your intelligence also matters. The amount of information that you are able to grasp quickly uh, also matters. For a few people, they can immediately grasp. For a few people, they might probably have to spend more time. They have to read again and again, practice again and again. So give your uh, intelligence, uh, you know, genuine feedback you you evaluate it in a genuine manner you are the right person to understand how good your grasping levels are right if you feel that your grasping levels are not that good they're average or below average then you'll have to spend more time obviously but perseverance is very very important don't leave it a few people quit midway saying that oh my god i spent eight months now i don't i don't think i'll get a job you probably spent eight months, another two months, you'll get a job, right? So don't leave that and, and practice as many projects as possible as Biswajit has rightly told. Thank you. Thank you so much, Biswajit. And yeah, all the really, very very, best for your future. Yeah, yeah, thank, thank you so much. Story. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah.